Welcome to the episode of Locked In. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys if an 11 to 50, you heard me right, 50 tooth cassette will work on a SRAM long cage one by derailleur. I am going to be testing this on a rival rear derailleur. I have done a video on an 1146 that fit on my Apex long cage derailleur. I'm going to be using my buddy Mario Salsa Fargo, which has a rival long cage derailleur. It's currently is actually set up with the 46. We're going to see if we can make a 50 tooth cassette work on this bike. And if you want to know what cassette I'm using, I'm using the 11 to 50 from Zito. If you guys, if you guys are looking for a lightweight cassette for your bike, check out my other video where I go over a road, gravel and mountain ultralight cassette for really, really cheap. So let's get into the video and let's see if I can make this work. There's a few things I want to go over first when trying to go to a bigger cassette than what's advertised. You have to keep in mind, you can't just keep adding a cassette. There's a few limiting factors. One is basically your B limit, which is a screw that's going to move the jockey wheels away from the cassette. In my experience, SRAM runs a really long B limit screw that lets you kind of push the boundaries, as well as you obviously have to enough chain to make this work. So there is a possibility that your setup might work with your stock chain. I highly doubt it, but there's a possibility there. But the other scenario would be that you might have to actually get a new chain or add links back to your chain, which I don't recommend if the chain has a decent amount of mileage on it. You don't wanna just basically replace the entire unit. So keep that in mind, trying this at home. This salsa does have an adjustable dropout in the rear, so I can push the rear wheel forward. I'm gonna be doing that for this video just to give the max amount of chain slack that he has on there to see if we actually do need to change the chain. So let's get into the video. So as you can see here, I'm removing this. This cassette is a standard free hub body style. So you're just gonna remove it like normal, remove the original cassette, which is again an 1146. This is a Sunrace. Then I'm gonna be putting on the 1150 on there, putting that back into the bike. And what I wanna do just for safety is basically loosen up the rear of the bike, slam it forward, leaving the bolts basically just finger tight to give you the most amount of chain slack. Then I'm going to screw in the B limit all the way just to start with. And I'm gonna slowly shift up the cassette to see if it's gonna hit possibly on that 50 tooth cassette all the way maxed out. If I have plenty of room, that's when you're gonna start backing it up to finding the sweet spot to where it downshifts easily but doesn't get hung up on the bigger sprocket when shifting back up the cassette. So as you can see here, everything seems to be shifting fine and I did adjust the limits as well just to redefine this because it is a different brand of cassette. There might be some slight variations where the limits are. So you definitely wanna make sure to go through all that as well. And there we go. This is exactly what Mario was looking for. The 11 to 50 is gonna be basically mountain bike range on his Fargo and that extra four teeth in the back, he's definitely gonna appreciate since this bike is pretty heavy. So make sure to check out the links below for the Zito store so you can get a lightweight cassette for your bike. I have done a video, if you haven't seen it already, on an 1146 setup like this, as well as an 1136 on my SRAM ETAP road bike. So if you have a SRAM equipped for road bike, check that video out as well. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, turn notifications on so you can see all the videos I put out on this channel, as well as follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I post on there almost daily. And thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get locked in today by tutorials.